So what is Ghost? Maybe you've heard about it from another video or a blog and want to know more about what it actually is and how it might be able to help you build something online. In this video, we're going to take a look at exactly what Ghost does, how much it costs, who is using the platform right now, and how to get started if it looks like a good fit for you. Hi, my name is David. Full disclosure, I'm a staff writer at Ghost. I'm also an indie author and creator. I started using Platform before I ever worked for the company. And yeah, just hope I can share some cool insights with you. Now, I do want to preface the video by saying that the best way to kind of learn if it's a good fit for you is to go ahead, use the link below, and start a free 14-day trial. I have an affiliate link and a non-affiliate link. So you can go ahead, see if it meets your needs and you'll be able to like try out everything I'm about to show you through this video for yourself. Let's go ahead and start with the basics. What is Ghost? Now, Ghost is a CMS, so a content management system. It allows you to blog or send newsletters, and it was originally built as a simplified alternative to the bigger platforms like WordPress. Ghost has really focused down on giving writers and publishers everything they need to build a successful, sustainable business online. If you head to their about page, you'll find a few interesting things, such as the fact that they are a nonprofit organization, which is not something you see a lot in the technology space. Also, they began as a Kickstarter campaign um, all the way back in 2013, which is pretty cool. So if we head to the features page, we can actually talk about what Ghost actually does. So it is a blogging and email newsletter platform. That means inside you'll be able to write content, publish that content, protect that content behind a paywall if you would like, and send that content to your subscribers free or paid or however you choose to organize that list. They have a library of themes you can choose from to stylize your website, as well as my favorite editor online. I tell you what, writing inside of Ghost is one of the most seamless processes um, that I've experienced using a lot of different platforms and programs. Um, it's just really nice to work in, and I appreciate that because I spend a lot of my time writing. Also, Ghost comes out of the box with everything you need to run a free or paid membership program for your content. So here's a little preview of what the portal looks like, and that's how you're going to manage the people who are subscribing to your newsletter or blog and whether their plans are going to be free or paid or so on. Then if you go all the way to the bottom of the features page, you're going to see that they integrate with pretty much anything you could need online for those of you who are running more complex or advanced programs. But for most people who are just getting started blogging or just getting started with their email newsletter, it's already going to have everything you need built in. A good way to understand where Ghost is and kind of the online landscape is to look at who they're replacing or who their alternatives are. And so here's a nice little chart that shows how they compare up against some of the other big writing or creator platforms such as Medium or WordPress. Substack is one that has been in the news a lot lately just because of the growth they've experienced. So this chart gives you a good idea of how Ghost stacks up against the competitors on a few different levels such as pricing, how easy it is to move your content onto or off of the platform, and some other features inside. Another question I get asked often is, who is using Ghost right now? Just a quick look shows us that some of the biggest companies like Buffer or Unsplash even Tinder are using the platform to run and host their blog now. And we're seeing lots of these big companies as well as smaller creators discovering what this tool is and deciding to make the switch. Now, I am not the most technical person, so I'm sure there is someone out there more qualified than I am to explain why some of these people who understand the tech side better than I do are switching to this platform. But for me, what I can say is the reason I started using it back in 2020 was because I was looking for a platform that would help me focus on the writing side of my business. Without trying to be everything for everyone, I wanted something that was going to help me get my words out to the people who wanted what I had to say and what I was writing about. And personally, that's where I think they succeed because that's one of their primary focuses is on helping the people who use the platform to publish well and to make sure that their content gets shown to the right people, whether that's the people running a private paid membership or the ones who are trying to use SEO to show their blog to millions of people. If we hop over to the pricing page, you can see what different plans they have. There's a starter plan that starts right at $9 a month. And for anyone who's brand new to writing online or blogging, or you're just starting a newsletter, this is exactly the plan you're going to need just to hit the ground running see if it's right for you, and start getting your words out into the world. 
then as you grow, you can see how this price will grow with you. For those of you who might be coming from another platform or tool, I just want to remind you, like when doing the math for whether this is a good fit, remember that this is your website, your hosting, and your email service. So take all of those together and see what does that bundle compared to this tool, um, because that's going to be a more direct comparison. If you'd like to see a really rough site that is in progress, you can see the new one I'm building called creatortools.io. Um, if you head there, you're just gonna see what it looks like. You know, nothing fancy. This is just a super standard theme that I downloaded and installed. I only have a couple blog posts up here as well as a newsletter. And I just built this to put some of the writing that didn't really have a good place on the other sites that I use. But that way you can see what you could build with Ghost in literally just a few minutes. I know a lot of the people who use Squarespace or WordPress will actually hire very advanced designers to build something beautiful and then convince you that you can do the same um, without spending thousands of dollars. But if you're looking for an alternative like Ghost, that's probably because you figured out a lot of that stuff is always harder than it seems. Um, so I try to not do the bait and switch on the people who watch these videos for me. All right, so that was a really brief overview of what Ghost is, what it does, how much it costs, who's using it right now. And yeah, if you have more questions, which I'm sure that was a really brief overview, so you might go ahead and leave them in the comments below. I do plan to do some follow-up videos on this, especially about how I use Ghost and Kajabi together. A lot of people have seen my channel because of my Kajabi videos, and so I'd like to explain how I'm using the two platforms in tandem. But for now, the best next step for you is to go ahead, jump on one of the links below to start your trial, and yeah, just play around add some content, see if it's a good fit for you and for the project you're trying to build online. Thanks again for watching. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you next time.